Hey, and welcome to Ontario Math, and today we will be doing, uh, having some Cartesian plane, planes fun. So, uh, let's get right into the funness of Cartesian planes. Um, let's start off by taking a look at what a Cartesian plane looks like. And it looks like this, uh, an x-axis perpendicular to the y-axis, right? Look at that, they cross perfectly. And uh, right in the middle, at the zero, is the point of origin, okay? And you can tell that there's a zero or an or an O there for the point of origin. Now let's break it down. A Cartesian plane is actually divided into four specific sections called quadrants. One right here, two right here, three right there, and fourth one right here. So uh, ironically it's called the first quadrant and I know this would, I always thought this makes sense to be called the second quadrant because I'm used to going uh, doing things clockwise but it actually works counterclockwise. So this is a first this is the second quadrant, and this is the third quadrant, and this is the fourth quadrant. So don't get confused like I did as a kid growing up. It works counterclockwise. Um, as you can tell, if it's in the first quadrant, um, you can tell the numbers increase and are always positive. So you always know because uh, your x and your y are always going to be positive in the first quadrant. In this one, actually, the x is actually a negative. So it always can be a negative x-coordinate and a positive y-coordinate, right? Because it's 1, 2, 3, and it keeps on going higher. In the third quadrant, if you notice, it's way over here, so you have to go negative and also negative. So it's a negative and another negative. And for the fourth quadrant, you actually go across positive, right, on the x-axis, and you go negative down the y-axis. So this is always going to be a positive x and a negative y. Okay, so you can use this to check, uh, just to make sure that you're in the right quadrant, and that'll help you check to figure out if you're right or wrong. Um, I still teach this uh, to the big kids, uh, of how to actually plot coordinates properly. Still, sometimes kids get mixed up between the y and x axis. So don't forget, whenever you, uh, let's take a, I, I watched Walking Dead last night, so I'm in a bit of a zombie mood, even though uh, uh, this isn't what a Walking Dead zombie looks like, but uh, you have to go across and walk on the x-axis, okay? You have to walk on the x-axis, and then you get into the elevator, and the zombie goes up or down, all right? So don't forget, x-axis, walk across first, and then y-axis, go up or down the elevator, okay? So that's how you remember, x is first, walk across, and y is elevator, okay? I hope you enjoyed uh, my little zombie picture there. Um, so the uh, x and y uh, are called coordinates, each one x-coordinate and a y-coordinate, and together they form, like Voltron, uh, ordered pairs. So if you have two of them, one, two, it's called ordered pairs because it has to follow the order of x and then y. So let's get into actually uh, using our knowledge of Cartesian planes to plot and label the following coordinates in the Cartesian plane. So uh, point uh, coordinates, order pairs A is negative 3 and 2. So let's try to get that in there. So we go across, and then we go up and down the elevator. So negative 3, I'm going to start at the point of origin all the time. So negative 3, negative 1, 2, 3, and positive 2. So then we're going to go up 1, 2. And we'll put it there, and we'll label that our A. Okay, let's do the next one. 1, B is 1, negative 3. So starting at the point of origin, across first, right? So 1 across, and then negative 3. So negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. And that's B. Uh, C is 0, so I'm at the point of origin already, so I'm not going to move, so I'm going to stay right there. And then positive 3, so 1, 2, 3. And that is C. And D is negative 2, so starting at the point of origin again, negative 2, so walk first, negative 1, negative 2, and then elevator next, negative 4, negative 1, 2, 3, and negative 4, and so that will be D. And we can just check over here, uh, negative 3 and 2, negative th and a positive, so negative 3 and 2, it should be in this coordinate, which it is, 1, negative 3, so positive... 1, negative, right, positive, negative. B is here, so that makes sense. It's in this quadrant. Uh, C works out. And D, negative, negative, should be here, works out. 
And there you go.